Hi guys. My name is Harry. In this video, I will teach you how to learn HTML from scratch, and definitely, for a beginner. You know, to become a web developer, HTML is always the first thing you need to know, so this video is what you need. You will learn everything step by step, then finally, by the end of this video, you will become a master at HTML. Let's get started now. Before we jump into coding, we need to prepare a text editor to learn HTML. I recommend you guys using Visual Studio Code, a powerful editor for a web developer. It is open source software, and free to use. With no license required. To start, first, we create a new folder, for example, an HTML folder. Then open the text editor, Visual Studio Code. To open a folder created before, we choose File, then choose Open Folder. In this step, we will choose the HTML directory. To be able to start writing code, we will create an HTML file, named index with an extension of HTML. For quick creation one HTML file, you type the word doc, then press the key tab on the keyboard. Visual Studio Code will automatically generate for us a standard HTML file structure, very fast and convenient. So, what is HTML? HTML is the standard markup language for web pages. With HTML, you can create your own website. This tutorial follows the latest HTML5 standard. HTML is easy to learn, you will enjoy it. Example explained. The HTML element is the root element of an HTML page. The head element contains meta information about the HTML page. The title element specifies a title for the HTML page, which is shown in the browser's title bar or in the pages tab. The body element defines the document's body, and is a container for all the visible contents, such as headings, paragraphs, images, hyperlinks, tables, lists, etc. The H1 element defines a large heading. The P element defines a paragraph. To see what we done so far, select the index.html file, right click, choose copy path. Then open a browser, paste the link we copied before, and press enter. Now, as you can see, we have a simple HTML page, display the content in the body tag. Since the early days of the World Wide Web, there have been many versions of HTML. The purpose of a web browser, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Safari, is to read HTML documents and display them correctly. A browser does not display the HTML tags, but uses them to determine how to display the document. HTML documents consists of a tree of these elements, and they specify how HTML documents should be built, and what kind of content should be placed in what part of an HTML document. An HTML element is defined by a start tag, some content, and an end tag. For example, tag name. Content goes here, slash tag name. The HTML element is everything from the start tag to the end tag. Let's display a heading tag. HTML headings are titles or subtitles that you want to display on a web page. Defined with the H1 to H6 tags. H1 defines the most important heading. H6 defines the least important heading. Headings are important, because search engines use the headings to index the structure and content of your web pages. H1 headings should be used for main headings, followed by H2 headings, then the less important H3, and so on. Use HTML headings for headings only. Don't use headings to make text big or bold. Next, I want to make a text link, so use the anchor tag. HTML links are hyperlinks. You can click on a link and jump to another document. The most important attribute of the A element is the ref attribute which indicates the link's destination. The link text is the part that will be visible to the reader. Clicking on the link text 
will send the reader to the specified URL address. When you move the mouse over a link, the mouse arrow will turn into a little hand. After we create a link text, if I click on the text, open Google, we will be redirected to Google page. The HTMLP element defines a paragraph. A paragraph always starts on a new line, and browsers automatically add some white space, a margin, before and after a paragraph. The HTML BR element defines a line break. Use BR if you want a line break, a new line, without starting a new paragraph. The BR tag is an empty tag, which means that it has no end tag. HTML tags are not case sensitive, P uppercase means the same as P lowercase. The HTML standard does not require lowercase tags, but W3C recommends lowercase in HTML. Next, I want to display an image on the web page, so I will copy an image into the HTML code section. Right away. The Visual Studio code will update the photo we just copied. This is the photo I will show on our website. A very beautiful picture of terraced fields. Since our code is a bit long, I will comment on the parts above again. If the code is commented, the compiler will not use it anymore, so to comment, let's first highlight the area you want to comment on, then press Ctrl plus slash on the computer keyboard. Immediately, the commented areas will turn green. We save the changes, then reload the web page. Commented areas will no longer show up, even though we still have their code. To display an image, we use the image tag. Abbreviated as IMG. Similar to the break line tag, image is a tag with no end tag, we use it without the end tag. The SRC attribute is where we store the image, so this is the path to the image we want to show on the web page. Save your changes and reload the web page. This is my photo, it has been shown on the website, but its size is quite large. To adjust the size of an image, we will use the height and width properties. The width and height attributes always define the width and height of the image in pixels. Here I want a rectangular image with a width of 400 pixel and a height of 300 pixel. As you can see, the image is now smaller and the size we want it to be. To see the size of an image on the website, we will right click, select inspect, then select this arrow, and hover over the image. Immediately, a square appeared and indicated the information of the photo. Here the photo size is 400 by 300, respectively 400 pixel width, 300 pixel height. The image tag also helps us to display images online. I will choose a picture on the internet, for example a picture of winter. Right click, then choose to copy the link of the image. I will create a new image tag. In this tag, with the SRC attribute, I will update the image link I copied earlier. We save the changes and reload the page. Immediately, the new photo was updated. Similar to before, I will add width and height attributes to resize this image. I want to hide the winter photo, the other way to comment the code is that, we add characters before and after the element we want to comment on. If we comment successfully, immediately, the whole line of code will turn green. After commenting on the image tag, if I reload the page, the winter photo will disappear. If our image fails to load, the image tag supports an alt attribute, specifies an alternate text for the image. Here, if our image does not load, has been deleted or the link to the image is incorrect. We will display the text that this image cannot be found. I will change the link to the photo, so that we cannot use this link to find the image. We reload the web page. Immediately, the picture will disappear, because the link is wrong, and we will receive a message, 
image not found.